today I thought I would talk about five vegetables uh, that I am harvesting from the garden uh, in January. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, leeks. Uh, leeks are leeks are one of my favourite vegetables. They're really versatile. They've got a mild onion flavour. They'll stand in the ground, uh, come rain or shine. Uh, they'll sit there quite happily through the snow and the frost, and you just go and harvest them when you need them. That to me is a jolly good vegetable. So we've still got plenty of leeks. Um, I planted about 200 leeks in the summer. And at the time I thought, well, you know, that works out at about four a week. We've given away, away a few to, uh, to my sister. Uh, we've sold a few in, in mixed veg boxes, uh, but there are still plenty of leeks. So they will see us through uh, and they'll probably see us through that hungry gap before the, the new season's vegetables arrive as well. Number two is parsnips. I'm never really sure with parsnips how many are going to grow or not and uh, they don't have a brilliant germination rate but this year uh, I planted them uh, quite a long way apart and uh, a lot of them germinated and so we have got uh, some enormous parsnips uh, which I'm really pleased about and there are enough there uh, to see us through the next couple of months. To me they're every bit as versatile as a potato, uh, we like them roasted, mash, uh, chips <laughs> you name it, we like them. So they are a good, a good versatile vegetable. And again, uh, will sit in the ground over winter. And in fact, uh, parsnips are better uh, after a frost than beforehand because uh, the action of the frost uh, on the starches in the parsnip uh, turn those uh, starches into sugar. So the parsnips actually get sweeter uh, after they've had a good frosting. And number three is purple sprouting broccoli. There are so many varieties of purple sprouting broccoli. I planted uh, two different varieties this year. One that has been ready to harvest over the last uh, couple of months and uh, another one that will uh, that will be ready uh, in uh, probably another month's time uh, to carry on for a couple of months after that. So if you pick a couple of varieties uh, you can actually have a crop of purple sprouting broccoli over uh, really a very long period during the winter. Number four are fresh herbs. There are a lot of herbs um, just starting to grow again uh, so I've been picking a lot of uh, bronze fennel, the evergreen herbs, so there's still bay, sage and rosemary, under a cloche with some bits of thyme and marjoram. The marjoram's looking a bit ropey um, but there are there are still uh, plenty of fresh herbs to um, take from the garden and to use in the cooking. And number five uh, are kales and cabbages and although they're two different plants they're both leafy brassicas uh, we have got a uh, cavallo de nero kale uh, january king cabbage uh, some spring greens and a savoy cabbage all available for us to pick at the moment uh, there is a leafy green that we could have uh, almost every day of the week if we wanted to i didn't plant uh, loads of cabbages out there uh, what i have been doing is taking off a few leaves uh, from the outside uh, neither Mr J and I uh, want to eat a vast amount of kale in one sitting. I don't even like it really, but I know it's really good for me so uh, I do keep on eating it in amongst other things. Savoy cabbages I do really like uh, and I'll get a savoy cabbage and I'll use half a savoy cabbage and I'll freeze the other half so that it's available to use a bit later on. But uh, there are plenty of those out in the garden. Uh, right now. So uh, next month we'll have a look and see uh, what is still available but in the meantime uh, enjoy the fresh veg that you do have and uh, now is a really good time to be planning uh, for what you will plant uh, this year uh, to eat throughout the winter uh, in 2018-2019. I uh, can't believe we're talking about 2019 already but uh, it is part of that planting plan uh, to be able to uh, provide for ourselves uh, throughout the winter next year and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to today uh, I hope it's a good one for you and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow